Hi everyone, I am here with my Bath & Body Works 850 Candle Day Sale Haul. Um, of course, today is Candle Day. It was crazy. I was at the store. I decided not to go to the White Barns. I have two near me. They're both in malls, um, but it's Saturday in December and I had my son with me. I didn't want to deal with them all. So I went to just a little standalone store in a little shopping center nearby that's never very busy. I got there at like 10.03, three minutes after they opened, and it was packed. There were two lines from the register to the doors. So I just tried to get in and out as quickly as I could, grab a few things that I had on my mental list and try not to lose my son while I did it. So most of these are from today. Two of these are from the last 1250 candle sale and I just never filmed a video on them. And then I have a little random product here that I picked up to get to my 10 off of 30 on one of these transactions. So let me just start off, show you what I've got. The first one here is one I definitely wanted to get. This is the Smoked Vanilla. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. There we go. It's in this ribbed glass. I'm not a huge fan of this green color, but whatever. Um, the notes on the bottom are, whoops, the camera's going to fall now. Smoked Tahitian vanilla, sandalwood, leather, and southern bourbon. Um, it reminds me a lot of Marshmallow Fireside. It has that sweet vanilla, that smoky wood note. But the leather comes through for me. Um, no bourbon. I don't get any bourbon. But I do get leather, and I just thought it was really interesting. But I didn't want to pay full price for it, of course. Um, and even on the $10 off candle sale, those are $26.50. So it was still $16.50. Um, paid almost half of that today. So definitely interested to try that one out. From the same collection, I picked up Frosty Air. There we go. Really pretty packaging. Um, the notes on this one are frosty winter air, crisp white cotton, <laughs> sorry my camera's not going to stay up, eucalyptus, and icy vanilla. There we go. This is pretty much the clean cotton candle, um, or fresh cotton, or I think right now it's pure cotton. It's had a couple names. With just a hint of eucalyptus mint. It's really interesting. Um, it doesn't really sound like a winter fragrance. Really pretty blue though. But um, I have a feeling that coming January, February, when it's still really cold, but I'm over all the Christmas scents, it'll be nice to have something fresh like that. Um, it's still got a hint of winter to it, but just nice and fresh, kind of take a break from all the heavy Christmas scents. And then I picked up a few from, I don't know the names of these collections, to be honest, I haven't been paying attention. Um, but this little collection with the cartoon-like labels um, that a lot of people hate, but I actually think are really cute. So I picked up Tis the Season. This is one I burn every year. Red Delicious Apple, Sweet Cinnamon Bark, and Cedarwood. It is apple cinnamon. I get evergreen, not cedar. I definitely get an evergreen note, and I'm not sure in the past if that's been called cedar, not that it really matters. We know Bath & Body Works just kind of pulls their notes out of thin air. Um, but I love that one, and again, I burn it every year, so I had to pick one up. From that same collection, I also picked up a flannel. And the notes on this one are crisp winter air bergamot, heirloom mahogany, and soft musk. It's a fresh men's cologne scent. Um, it's more of a fall candle than a winter candle, but again, kind of like the frosty air, I think it'll make a nice break towards the end of winter when I just want cleaner, fresher scents, but I'm not ready to move on to spring. Then from this other, I don't, again, I'm going to go Snowflake. I'll call it the Snowflake Collection since it has these little snowflakes on the label. Um, I picked up Marshmallow Fireside. Now I had 
one of these in the fall packaging, and then I picked up one during my last candle haul in that um, like frosted glass collection that I just think is really ugly. And then they came out with this one, which I didn't even realize it was coming in a different package. So I may even go switch out my frosted glass for one of these because I just really don't care for the look. Um, I'll give you the notes here. Toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber. I don't get any amber. It's just marshmallow, vanilla, and a hint of that firewood smoke. But it's really good. I go through a couple of those every year. So I figured I'd go ahead and grab one more. From the same collection... I got the Winter Mint and Spruce. How pretty is that packaging? And the notes on the bottom are Sugared Spruce, Crisp Winter Mint, Green Pine, and Frosted Lavender. The main note is definitely mint. You get the mint first and even a hint of that lavender. I didn't pick up on that until I read the notes, but it's definitely there. And then the pine is just this nice solid undertone. Um, you see I've got a candle going here. This is Fresh Balsam. I keep some sort of tree-scented candle lit here next to the fake tree um, the entire time it's up. So like the last week of November, all of December, and then to the first week of January until I get time to pull it down. So I'm already on my second uh, like balsam candle here. So I went ahead and actually picked up two of the Winter Mint and Spruce just to make sure I have enough to get me through. And then from the, I guess the New Year's collection with these little like bows tied around them, I picked up Twisted Peppermint. Again, a yearly staple. Uh, this year it says Cool Peppermint, Sugared Snow, Vanilla Buttercream, Fresh Balsam, and Hint of Musk. No musk, no balsam, none at all. Snow is not a scent. It is cool peppermint and just the slightest hint of vanilla. Same scent it has always been. There has never been any balsam in this at all. Just a really strong, fresh peppermint. Excuse the noise in the background. My cats are running around. And then finally for candles from that same collection, I picked up Holiday Sparkle. The notes here are bright sparkling water, sugared citrus, wintertime jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. Um, now, none of those notes really appeal to me, just reading them out. Um, and even the first time I smelled this, I tried it during my last candle haul. Um, I was trying all the new candles, and I just kind of glossed over this one. It's just perfumey. Um, I don't love it, or I didn't. You know, I, just, I was like, oh, it's perfumey. I don't want it for Christmas. And then my friend bought one, and she said that it smells exactly like nighttime tea, the aromatherapy scent. And that was only in a candle one year. So when I went back to the store today, I tried it, and it, it smells like nighttime tea. So I had to get one because I loved nighttime tea, and I want to try it out and see if it smells the same burning. And then the only other item I got today was just this little... Vanilla Bean Noel hand cream to reach $30 for one of my purchases. Love Vanilla Bean Noel, and I always use the hand creams, so no big deal there. So that's it, guys. That's everything I picked up during the 850 candle sale this year. Um, if you went, I hope you were able to find good stuff. My store was crazy. Uh, even though I knew it would be crazy, I didn't expect it to be that bad first thing in the morning. Um, but I got what I wanted, so that's good. I hope you were all able to find some good candles, and thank you all for watching. Bye.